Yeah. All right, let's hit a few of these. All right. Uh, your first car, uh, is it the Roadmaster? No, well, my first car was a 1934 Ford pickup truck, who I got when I was 34. 14, and uh, I worked on it for a couple of years until I got my license at 16. My first car in California was a 55 Buick. What, when it falls upon your eye, is mm -hmm. the most beautiful car ever? Or I know you love form, line, all that. Is there one that really... Well, the Italians really yeah. do it well. A lot of Alfa Romeos. Uh, the cars of the 30s work for me just because it's that half... It's streamlining before we really knew what streamlining was. So it was, it was streamlining that pleased the eye mm -hmm. more than... Because streamlining Served is... ground forces. And yes, that. streamlining is a Prius. Mm -hmm. But... Sexy streamlining is like one of those trains from the 30s, you know, the Santa Fe. Where it, it looks swoopy, but it's really not. And I've never, <clears> and all the times I've been there, I'm trying to think, is a 12-cylinder Jag not in your uh, quiver? Do you dig? Uh, the, well, like, I have a 63 XKE that we put a 12-cylinder Jag motor in and shortened it up a little bit, took a couple of inches out of the wheelbase. Because that's so always struck me as such a beautiful car. Yeah, it is a beautiful car. Yeah, yeah. Jag, Enzo Ferrari called the XK the most beautiful car in the world. Well, there, if you want imprimatur, you got it there. Uh, favorite guest you've had on The Tonight Show over the years? <sighs> favorite that's guest? A lot, but who, well, of who course, floats Dennis your boat? Miller, certainly. Um, uh, I knew it. Well, you know, I always like real people. Yeah. You know, when you have Batman on, you're not really talking to Batman. You're talking to an actor playing Batman. Uh, astronauts, mm -hmm. um, people like that. I remember I had uh, John Glenn on once. And when I was in the fourth grade, I wrote a paper on John Glenn circling the Earth. I got like a C minus from, from, Mr. S from Mr. Simon, my teacher, you know. So 50 years later, remember 1998, he went up into space, age 78. I had him on The Tonight Show as a guest, and I called my fifth grade teacher, and I said, uh, Listen, you remember that paper I got a C minus on? I Mr. Got, Simon, you called him? Yeah, I said I got the second half of the, of the uh, report. You know, I just want to turn it in here. So I brought him on. I told John Glenn this. He always oh, great. And I said, and I got upgraded to an A. My mother didn't leave to see it, but it's the only A I ever got. Ah, Jay, so what he a was lovely cool. that, story. That was cool. Yeah, you mean, but, I met Dr. Uh, Heimlich once. Can you imagine that? Honest to God, Jay, I meet him in a green room at a local talk show. Heimlich maneuver. Right, yeah, of course. They go, this is Dr. Heimlich. I go, I'm yeah. on first. This is how screwed up the world is. Yeah. This guy has, and I say to him, the Dr. Heimlich? And he says, uh, I didn't ask him to name it after. Imagine meeting a real guy like that who's well, that yeah. humble. I, no, <laughs> I got you, I got you. Uh, but some astronauts, cats like that? Yeah, yeah I that, would take John Glenn over the Heimlich guy, just a matter of. Well, geez, Jay, the Heimlich things prolong so many people's well, that's, uh, you know, loving relationships over the years. You don't have to true. piss on my dream. That's true. Hey, um, <laughs> I know the answer to this because I remember the joke. Well, I remember you told me once we were on the road, and I said, uh, what are we eating tonight? And you said, I don't like to eat anything I can't stand up eating. Remember well, that? You were in that phase for a while? I was Pizza. going to nothing grown from the earth or taken from the sea, basically. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's my... If I can't run it down and snap a snack, I usually don't eat it. Yeah, I go over to Europe, they're eating all the stuff I throw on. No, I do not want any pancreas tartare. No, colon tartare. Colon tartare. Colon tartare. Colon tartare. That's right, yeah. See, these made a dent. That's right. And, and remember, remember, I used to think about the money had people having sex on it. Maybe you got French money and there are people having sex on the money. It's like, oh, Jesus, put, put it down. <laughs> a food you can't stand. Food I can't stand. Yeah, you don't like high end stuff. I, I, right? No, no, nothing frou frou. You know, I get all my meals from a guy in a paper hat. Generally, uh, it's fair to say. Funniest memory from the Tonight Show. To me, the funniest, one of the funniest ones was, I was, uh, we, we were trying to get Kathy Lee Gifford on the show. Right. And this is this is when Kathy Lee was as hot as she can, and and I did a joke. Remember, remember Frank Gifford was having an affair. Mm -hmm. remember? And I did a joke that really made Kathy Lee mad. The joke was, uh-oh, Frank Giffer just found, I mean, Kathy Lee just found out there's no such thing as Tuesday night football. That was the joke. <laughs> you know, so, so that joke, that's a great joke. That joke got quoted every So she said, Jake, no, don't you tell her I'm not coming on that show. No, I'm furious. I, I said, oh, I, I said, well, look, let me call her. Jay, she won't take your call. Let me call her. So I go out into the, say the one the interns, if, would you get me Kathy Lee's phone number? Okay, bring me the phone number. I go in my office. <laughs> Uh, Kathy Lee? Yes. Uh, Jay Leno. Jay! 
Jenny, it's so good to hear from you. I go, oh, this is... A... Well, listen, Kathy Lee, we'd love to have you on the uh, Tonight Show, Thursday night after ER. That's our big night. We'd like you as lead guest. I would love to be lead mm -hmm. guest. That would be wonderful. Thank you, Jenny. That is so kind. Okay, thank you. Easy so I go back into the booking room. I go, you know, you folks can all go home because uh, I can book the show myself. I just, what are you talking about, Jay? Well, I just spoke to Kathy Lee, and she's coming on Thursday night. <laughs> Jay, I just spoke to Kathy Lee. She said she's never coming on. I go, I just spoke to her, too. No, you didn't. What? So I said to the answer, whose phone did you bring me? Kathy Lee Crosby. Kathy Lee Crosby? <laughs> I said, that's incredible. It hasn't been on for 25 years. <laughs> you mean I just put Kathy Lee Crosby as a first guest in, after, on the ER night? Kathy this is crazy. Lee. Now I have to go back and <laughs> call Kathy Lee Crosby. Listen, a uh, mistake. Uh, I'm sorry. Again, I have not been at a call <laughs> yeah. since I did the Dar Robinson <laughs> Stunt but it was special. like just one of those things, and she was very sweet. She yeah. was very nice about it, you know. But it just, it's just so stupid. So to me, when you say, to me, that's the funniest yeah. thing. Murphy's Law. If, yeah, if exactly. anything can go wrong, saying Kathy yeah. Lee, yeah. somebody's at their pinnacle, yeah. and, uh, listen. And then once, once I had uh, um, Roger Moore on, you know, yeah. and I said, uh, so what do you do for me? We'd like to go to India. Oh, India, that's a beautiful place. Yeah, she was love it, every weekend. I go to India every weekend? Oh, yes, yes, we enjoy it. It's a lot of it. And this is on the air, you know. I said, Isn't that a long trip? No, hardly not. <laughs> but it's got to be 14 hours. <laughs> what are you talking about here, 14 hours? No, it's about 45 minutes. I said, what are you talking about? India. Yeah, India. Well, he meant Indio. <laughs> you know, near Palm Springs? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, he, he, and then he, and he said, India, and he spelled it out. He goes, no, no, India. Oh, oh, oh is that what we're Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.